friends, this is the Miss Abofi from our Half Acre Homestead. Today is Friday, November 27th, 2015, and apparently in the U.S. and in Canada, it is Black Friday. Now, we have our Thanksgiving in October, and I have just watched a couple of video clips from Facebook with this Black Friday shopping madness stuff. Holy moly. Get a grip, people. And I'm not talking about my subscribers because I'm pretty sure most of my YouTube family is going, mm-hmm, I ain't going anywhere near those malls and those crazy shopping things. If you are broke enough to feel it necessary to go in and snatch a parcel out of a child's hand in a crazy Black Friday sale, man, you just be better learning to knit because that's just wrong. I mean, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and today people are beating each other up over a piece of junk made in China. Really? Seriously? You know, <clears throat> my kids are both born in February. Well, they're not kids anymore. They're 22 and 27. They were both born in February. And I was, uh, with my first son, I started a habit, um, because I was a single parent, of when I would go shopping for a birthday gift for either one of my boys, I started this a long, long time ago, I would go shopping and I would see winter clothing on clearance. So what would I do? I would buy the next size up or the next two sizes up because it's on clearance because spring's coming and I would put it away for Christmas next year. I did that all year long. I had a limited income. My, uh, in the beginning, my monthly entertainment budget was $45 a month. And that included everything, entertainment, whether it was gifts or, you know, a trip to the mall or whatever the case may be. So I would watch sale flyers, even in, and I remember buying Arthur a tricycle. Um, in July because it was on sale and I believe at the time it was I, I don't know what the price was but it was like half price because it was a summer sale and so I got my son his his Christmas tricycle and I put it away and I put it away in July so when it came right down to it I was already completely finished my Christmas shopping by November 1st and I mean completely finished the only thing I might need would be Christmas wrap and tape and bows oh wait just the tape because the Christmas wrap and the bows would go on clearance Boxing Day and I've avoided Boxing Day sales I would wait a couple of days because if there's any paper left over it's like down to 25 cents a roll or some ridiculous price. Heck, I still got Christmas wrap I bought five years ago. And I don't do a lot of presents anymore. So folks, if whatever it is you want to buy is all that important, take your time. Buy it ahead of time. Squirrel a little bit of money away here and there. Watch for sales all year long. Don't be basting your turkey and holding hands and saying a blessing at the table and then going out and bashing somebody over the head for a piece of plastic the next day. It just, that is just wrong on so many levels. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying it is November 27th let the festivities begin, not the fighting.
Take care. God bless.